But one more thing of Patrick Kane, okay? Mm -hmm. The notch, he reminds me a bit, not off the ice persona, uh, of Mike Madonna. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. They want to lull you to sleep with the I don't care attitude. They both care, they're both prepared, yeah. and they're both professional. Yeah. Yeah, and the other part about his, some of his youthful mistakes and immaturity, it's called cell phones, Twitter, and all that. And if that was around when yeah. I was that age, <laughs> <laughs> look out. <laughs> You're looking live inside the locker room as the Hawks are making their way to a, what Slowly. Hanger, you said, a <laughs> private ceremony inside as they will be breaking open those champagne bottles. Well, I love Michael Roosevelt right there yeah. and what he's able to do because he's a guy, he said it, Panger, you talked about it when he said 15 years when he raised the cup, but here's a guy born in the Czech Republic, again, wanted to chase his dream to play in the National Hockey League, left home to go to Swift Current. Swift Current in the Western League, played in the WHL. Well, again, and talk about a guy paying dues, was a decent player in Pittsburgh, played real well with us in New York with the Rangers, had some tough times in Phoenix and coming off the knee injury, but mm. he's fit in real well with this group, and you see the love that he's getting there from Jamie Compound. That's great stuff. I, I so much Jamie respect. Compound, though. Yeah. I know we'll go, exactly. Rose, we'll go Roosevelt yeah. again, but one quick point about Jamie Compound, the assistant coach. If you're a team out there and you need an assistant coach to win a cup, he's two for two in exactly. two different years. Exactly. LA two assistant years. coach That's last right. year, now the Blackhawks assistant coach this year yeah, yeah, with well. Joel. You always love seeing the respect that everybody has for these older guys. For sure. Guys that sure. have been pros, guys have, who have had long, successful careers. Jamal Myers, getting right. the Cups second or third, didn't yeah. even get the opportunity to play in the finals. But he, the team acknowledges what he meets them. He, you know, it's, it's that respect for these guys that have battled so hard. And, mm -hmm, and yeah. if you're 34 or 35 and you haven't got there, and all these younger guys, even though they've played a bigger role, they want to still defer to you in the celebration as an acknowledgement for all that you've done, not only this year, but your whole career. You love that aspect of these celebrations. It's not about the young star. It's not about Patrick Kane who won the mm -hmm. Conn it's, it's all about recognizing the guys that really paved the way and earned their stripes and been there for 10, and, 15 years. And the great thing is, you can tell they love, they yeah. love it. It's they genuine. Can't, John John can't wait to give it to, to uh, Hanzus, and Hanzus can't wait to give it to yeah. Jammer. Mm -hmm. That's why it's great, because it's not fake. It's yeah, not right. it's sincere. And I tell you what, this time right now, I will never forget it. I came in the room, and like they said, it used to be all the family, and 45 minutes of going crazy, they all cleared out, and it was just us in our uniforms. We didn't want to get out of them. You're looking at each other. Uh, there's tears. There's hugs. And I remember Glenn Wesley coming over. I couldn't move my arm. Uh, the numbing was wearing off. And he, un he undid me. He saw me sitting there and he started taking my skates off for me. Wow. And I was just, you know, I started to get emotional. I'm like, jeez. You know, like, like right. 38 year old man. It's just yeah. you in there. And you see everybody around taking their, Justin Williams is peeling his cast off, trying mm -hmm. to get his champagne bottle open. And it, it's it, it's just an amazing time right now that they're going to have, they're going to sit down and realize how darn tired they are and how worth it it is. And it's an amazing, amazing hour before they go to that party. Waiter, when you got handed the cup, how early were you in that group? You had never won it before. A lot of guys on your team hadn't won it before, but the thought of the captain, I was thinking of the composure a captain has to have in those pressure situations mm -hmm. and who they choose. A lot of pressure on you yeah, to find absolutely. out who, who you choose to, to hand it yes. off. So they went Hanzus, one, yes. yeah. Jamal Mears, two, mm -hmm. and Big Rosie, three. Yep. Mike awesome. Roosevelt. Yeah, and so, I should know the order, but I know I, I, know <laughs> I, I was running around and, and I ended up with quick. my family because we watched the cup came, come out together yeah. and then my kids were all there and I was just like, oh my God. We, and I, I <laughs> I got behind the eight ball, but I, I was uh, pretty early. I know I got it from... Uh Oh my God! What's wrong with me? I'm blacking out. But I don't, you're in the moment right now. Cully came next to me, and said, "Doug, you need some help." And I go, "I got it, bud." He stayed about five feet behind me. I was nervous about dropping. Uh, the cup is on its way day. into the locker room. Of course, we're going to bring you full press conferences as well, uh, both head coaches, and we'll get you player reaction as well. But we're going to stay in this locker room for the celebration. There it is. Cup enters the room. Oh, yeah, the game on. on. What's that low ceiling? Exactly. And that's, <laughs> this is a tiny visitors' room here in in, in Boston. But I got to tell you guys something. We were talking a lot of great stories about a lot of players and the people behind the scenes, your family, people that help you get there. One guy that I really have to acknowledge here is Ray Emery. And Ray Emery had the same hip injury, a vascular necrosis, as mm -hmm. Bo Jackson. And he wasn't supposed to ever play again. And I have to really give a shout out to his trainer back in Toronto at St. Mike's Arena, Matt Nickel, mm -hmm. for what he was able to do. This guy had to relearn how to walk from scratch, let alone to then put on gear and then be able to have this long road back to playing the NHL again after such a severe injury. So he's one of the many guys in this locker room, and I'm sure a lot of the guys in the room certainly respect him for his road, but a very long and hard-fought road for him, and certainly very deserving to be at this point. Well, Zach, 
a tandem. I mean, you're talking about the, the oh, yeah. Jennings winners yeah. there, and, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about his partner, Corey Crawford. Right. Uh, you know, you give up five goals again on the glove side, and everybody in the world's talking about how bad the glove is, and, and, and there's reason for that. Everybody analyzes it, and, sure. and it looks like to be a weakness. He bounces back in the next game, shuts the door down, and gives himself a chance to win, and never once does he co does he complain, does he put, does he throw any of his teammates under the bus? That's right. Mm. He doesn't make excuses. He goes about his business. I, I do understand why the Chicago Blackhawks players have gone to bat for Corey Crawford over the last couple of years, when last year early on, it what might be, where's his career heading? Is he going to be that mm. kind of guy that can right. be a main number one guy? Yep. But hats off, or gloves off, yeah. Yeah. to no, Corey Crawford for all that he has done and endured. And he could have easily, as we all mentioned, if we throw the names in the hat, yeah. it could have been Corey Crawford mm -hmm. to win that with what he did again tonight in that first period. And without fast-tracking, Canadian Olympic camp oh, this yeah. summer. I would imagine, I he's, imagine he's there. Yeah, he's, How can he he's, not got, he's got plans to go there. Yeah. Uh, and Shall I break it to you? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, nice. just think about it. How little respect, you know, it's all about the team in front of it. It wasn't really because of him or Ray Emery. It was just the fact that they were that good and, and the goal thing was just oh, yeah. good enough. It wasn't great. Well, he showed how great he can be yeah, in, this, in this playoff and, yeah. and in that first period. I think, know, I think it should have been over. That should have been another way back absolutely. to Chicago after period number one. No Johnny, I, I think he just packed up his bags and he's walking to Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't yeah, playing at the saddle, though. Yeah, that's for yeah, sure. They might be at Max Arena in Calgary. Oh, but, boy. hey, you know what, Panger? These, yeah. Those two guys, actually, I'll say the three, because you know what it's like. You need a partner that's supportive of you. And both those two guys support each other in a great way. Mm -hmm. And their goalie coach, Stefan Waite, has a huge hand in this as well. This is his second ring that he got with them. And now with a different goaltender, is Anthony Niemi in 2010. This time, Corey Crawford leading the charge. And, and you, you and talked either, about Either one it. of them could have won the cons, Mike. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. you yeah. mentioned how many times these guys were on the ice early. Nobody there. They were doing their drills, right? Just Crawford, Stefan, wait the goalie coach, and Ray Emery putting in that work. So, you know what? Hey, that's the, that has a big hand in why these guys were able to have the success they were this and year. Both Niami and Crawford were questioned straight through the playoffs yeah, until they won the Stanley Cup. Absolutely. So it is amazing the adversity that these guys have overcome. Uh, the, the, you know, the skeptics, especially for the Hawks starting the season, yeah. goaltending was the biggest quote unquote yeah. question yeah. mark. Right. Well, that question mark was answered tonight. And Antti Niemi, sorry, just to go off track, was also a Vesna final this year yeah. to Sergei Bobrovsky, so credit to him on that, too. How about a shout-out to these two organizations? Let's oh, revisit yeah. this. 2010, you win the Cup uh, as a Chicago Blackhawk. You lose players like Bufflin, Ladd, Miami. They have their first, 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 first It's impossible to have a dynasty with the same players anymore. But what they do to reincorporate and have their nucleus through through the draft, mm -hmm. uh, Seabrook, uh, Taves, Kane, Keith, and then bring on a guy like Hosa, make mm -hmm. a commitment like, to, like to find a guy in a trade like Sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, they found their core. They knew they had to get rid of good people. Mm -hmm. And Stan Moman did a job, and they're back here too. And then you look at the Bruins. That's right. More kudos. You lose Tim Thomas. Not about Bobby S. Is we're talking about goalie yeah, That's right. Yeah. You yep, lose absolutely. Tim Thomas. You bring him off the map, and you get him into the con Smythe. And obviously, Tim has a lot to do with that, most to do with that. But Bob he deserves credit. Yep, sure and all does. of a sudden, Tuka Rass has questions, and he brings him here, and he was right in the finalists for uh, con Smythe almost one Absolutely. Cup. No Both doubt. organizations have done a great